today we will discuss the third video of steam con concept series in this video we will discuss the topic 6 7 and 8 the topic 1 2 3 4 and 5 we already discussed in previous videos so the following concept to be discussed in this video enthalpy of water as denoted by hf in steam table enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat as denoted by hfg in steam table enthalpy of dry saturated steam or total heat energy of dry saturated steam denoted by hg in steam table this is about me i'm lokesh kumar singh cumd petrol region oil and gas engineering private limited to know more about our company you can visit our company website www.petrohorizon.com or you can also visit our company facebook page petro horizon oil and gas engineering private limited so the enthalpy of water and sensible heat of water which is denoted by hf what is it this is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of water from a datum point of 0 degree centigrade to its temp current temperature at this reference state of 0 degree centigrade the enthalpy of water has been arbitrarily set to 0 so let's say current temperature of 1 kg of water in a vessel is 40 degree centigrade and we want to calculate the enthalpy of water at this temperature the enthalpy of water will be the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of water from 0 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade this can be calculated as if we multiply mass of water and the specific heat capacity of water and the temperature difference we got the enthalpy of water at 40 degree centigrade so mass of water we assume is 1 kg and the specific heat capacity of water at constant pressure is 4.19 kilojoule per kg and the temperature difference is uh, 40 minus 0 that is 40 degree centigrade so if we multiply these three things so we uh, we got 167.6 kilojoule per kg enthalpy so therefore the enthalpy of water or sensible heat of water at 40 degree centigrade is 167.6 kilojoule per kg if we calculate the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg water from reference datum point 0 degree centigrade to its boiling point at fixed pressure then the enthalpy of water is called enthalpy of saturation denoted by hf as mentioned in the steam table at various pressure ranges. so here in a steam table we have extracted some value from steam table you can see this is the pressure range and this is the enthalpy of water or sensible heat of water so this is the uh, enthalpy of saturation or enthalpy of saturated water it's increasing as the pressure is increasing so now now enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat of vaporization which is denoted by hfg this is the amount of heat required to change saturated water which is boiling water to dry saturated steam so it involves no change in temperature of steam and water both temperature is content constant at constant pressure it means if water is at saturation temperature 100 degree centigrade at one bar and heat is added to this water then saturated steam produced will be at one bar and 100 degree centigrade if we keep on adding the heat in this saturated water of 100 degree centigrade at one bar pressure then additional heat added will be utilized as latent heat or enthalpy of evaporation hfg to produce more and more saturated steam of one bar pressure and 100 degree centigrade temperature till the single drop of saturated water is present in a steam producing vessel and the dryness fraction of saturated steam keeps on increasing from 0 to 1 because if you see this diag phase diagram here this is the point b point here the water is saturated water and then enthalpy in this water is the enthalpy of saturation so here the dryness fraction of steam is zero and as we keep on adding the heat into this water so steam start producing more and more and what is happening parallelly the dryness fraction of steam is increasing towards one so here at point c the dryness fraction of steam is one that's why steam at this point is called dry saturated steam so 
once all the water is evaporated and only steam is remain in the steam vessel then point reaches to single phase curve that is dry saturated steam curve on a steam phase diagram where the drainage fraction of steam is 1 this is this steam at this point where drainage fraction is 1 is called dry saturated steam you can see in this phase diagram see it when the steam temperature when we we keep on adding the uh, heat into the saturated water and steam is produced and total water is evaporated then the steam here produced and this point is to the C point C on the saturated vapor line so here it is dry saturated steam So now you see the enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat HFG. Further, some of the definition. If we further heat this dry saturated steam, then steam become superheated. So at up to this point, this is dry saturated steam. But if we keep on further adding the heat into it, then what happens? So steam start getting superheated, and the temperature of super steam uh, superheated steam. Uh, become higher than the saturation temperature of water at constant pressure these are the constant pressure lines so above this point means further to this point the steam is superheated and the difference between the, uh, between the superheated temperature and the saturation temperature of water is known as degree of superheat so in steam phase diagram, latent is the distance between two point at constant pressure line on saturated liquid line curve and dry saturated steam line curve. That means this is the saturated liquid line curve and this is the saturated vapor line curve. So the dist uh, if we take two point from here to here, the distance between these two point, which is BC, is the value of lat uh, latent heat of vaporization what? so this is denoted by HFG if we draw from here to from here to here this is HFG as we increase the system pressure to produce the higher pressure steam this distance between two points decreases that that means at higher pressure the latent heat of enthalpy of evaporation HFG decreases see let's say uh, this 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 these are the constant pressure lines so this is also const constant pressure line this is also a constant pressure line so this is the constant pressure line and this is some pressure which is lower pressure than this pressure and this is higher pressure lines so if you see this length is higher than this length that means this length is smaller smaller than this length so what is happening at higher pressure so uh, required latent heat is heat is uh, less than the uh, latent heat required at lower pressure and further if we keep on increasing the pressure so here it is further less than the uh, this pressure latent heat required so you can see in the steam table also as the pressure is increasing the latent heat of evaporation is decreasing so now the enthalpy of dry saturated steam or total enthalpy or total heat energy of dry saturated steam denoted by Hg. This is the total heat energy in the dry saturated steam and is simply the sum of the enthalpy of saturated water and enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat of evaporation. So you can see here, see this is temperature versus enthalpy and if you see uh, this value, this is Hf which is sensible heat and from here to here it is uh, enthalpy of evaporation so at point C the total enthalpy is sum of HF and HFG because first we supplied heat to bring the cold water up to the uh, saturation temperature of water so this heat absorbed by water is sensible heat which is HF after that we further heat the water to produce the saturated steam till the steam is dry saturated steam at this point and the total vapor, uh, vapor, uh, water is vaporized to steam so this heat steam required is hfg which is the 
um, enthalpy of evaporation so total heat to make it a dry saturated steam is this enthalpy and this enthalpy that's why the in the steam table it is denoted by H, hg which is the value of total enthalpy of dry saturated steam so hg equal to hf plus hfg that means this is sensible heat and this is latent heat of uh, vaporization for dry saturated steam with the dryness fraction x is 1 if it is wet steam so see here it is dry saturated steam between these two points this is two phase region and the steam here in this region somewhere anywhere between b and c is a wet stream so for this reason the equation is the total uh, enthalpy of dry saturated steam hg equal to hf plus uh, dryness fraction multiplied by hfg which is latent heat of vaporization for the wet saturated steam with dryness fraction less than 1 this equation can be used for enthalpy calculation based on the steam dryness fraction in the next steam concept series video 4 you will learn about the steam dryness fraction and how to calculate the dryness fraction of wet stream so now you just concentrate what i am telling you so in the next uh, section you will get a clear concept of steam dryness fraction so let's say example at low pressure one bar steam production so you look into this figure which i already shown you in a previous video but i didn't explain but this is the right time to explain these videos and this uh, about this figure so this steam production is at atmospheric pressure so when we heat the water it gets sensible heat uh, to raise the temperature from 0 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade and if we further heat it so it produce 100 degree centigrade steam saturated steam so the latent heat required to produce saturated steam or dry saturated steam is 2257 kilojoule per kg for 1 kg of steam from 1 kg water and this is sensible heat to raise the temperature of 1 kg water from 0 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade so the total enthalpy of saturated dry saturated steam will be the sum of this sensible heat and this latent heat so you can see here in this at atmospheric pressure the boiling point or saturation temperature of water is 100 degree centigrade the amount of enthalpy 419 kilojoule per kg is absorbed in 1 kg of water to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water from 0 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade at atmospheric pressure this is called enthalpy of saturation or sensible heat of water hf from this we can also calculate the specific heat capacity of water at constant pressure cp to produce the steam from 100 degree centigrade saturation water saturated water to 100 degree centigrade dry saturated steam the heat required is 2257 kilojoules per kg as shown in figure this value can be obtained from the steam table as you can see see at uh, atmospheric pressure this is 2257 the enthalpy of evaporation and the sensible heat or the enthalpy of saturation is 4419 so this is the latent heat hfg 2257 kilojoule per kg so the total enthalpy of dry saturated steam hg is sum of sensible heat of water hf and the latent heat of evaporation which is which comes 2676 kilojoule per kg if we add uh, 419 plus 2257 so it comes to 2676 kilojoule per kg now take another example at high pressure at 7 bar steam production so here you can see at 7 bar the boiling point of water is 170 degree centigrade from the steam table you can see if the pressure is increasing the saturation temperature of water is increasing at 7 bar the saturation temperature of water is 170 degree centigrade and the saturation enthalpy of saturation is 721 or sensible heat is 721 and the latent heat of evaporation is 2047 see the enthalpy of evaporation or the latent heat is reducing as the pressure is increasing so see here at a higher pressure 
सेवन बार देन एटमोसफेरिक प्रेशर वन बार बॉइलिंग पॉइंट और सेचुरेशन टेम्परेचर वॉट इज वन सेवेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एज आई सोन यू इन अ स्टीम टेबल द अमाउंट ऑफ एंथेल्पी सेवन ट्वेंटी वन किलो जूल पर के जी इज एब्जॉर्ब इन वन के जी ऑफ वाटर टू रेज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन के जी ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू वन सेवेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एट सेवन बार प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड एंथेल्पी ऑफ सेचुरेशन और सेंसिबल हीट ऑफ वाटर सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट द स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर द स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी विल इंक्रीज एट हायर प्रेशर बिकॉज सी पी मीन्स हीट कैपेसिटी एट कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर इट मीन्स एट हायर प्रेशर द कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर टू होल्ड द एंथेल्पी सेंसिबल हीट विल इंक्रीज कॉन्सिक्वेंटली द वैल्यू ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी ऑफ वाटर विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज सो टू प्रोड्यूस द स्टीम फ्रॉम वन सेवेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड saturated water to 170 degree centigrade dry saturated steam the heat required hfg will be less than 220 uh, 2257 kJ per kg which which will be 2050 kJ per kg as shown in figure and it it is it can be obtained from the um steam table also because the enthalpy of evaporation एच एफ जी डिक्रीज एट हायर प्रेशर एज एक्सप्लेन इन स्टीम कंसर्व वीडियो टू सो टोटल एंथेल्पी ऑफ ड्राई सेचुरेटेड स्टीम इज द सम ऑफ हीट ऑफ वाटर एंड द लेटेंट हीट ऑफ यूवरेशन विच इज टू सेवन सेवन वन किलो जूल पर के जी सी हियर इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी एट सेवन बार डिग्री सेंटीग्रेट वी नीड टू हीट द वाटर टू ब्रिंग द टेम्परेचर फ्रॉम जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेट टू इट्स बॉइलिंग पॉइंट विच इज वन सेवेंटी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेट सो हियर इट विल एब्जॉर्व more sensible heat or uh, it required more enthalpy of saturation so that is more which is 721 as compared to 1 bar where it is 4119 kJ per kg and then from 170 degree centigrade saturated water to produce 170 degree centigrade uh, steam at 7 bar we need latent heat 2050 kJ per kg which is less than the heat required at one bar because at one bar the heat required is 2 to 57 kJ per kg so at high, uh, you can see this that at high pressure the sensible heat of water increases which help us to produce the high pressure and high temperature saturated steam whereas latent heat of vaporization decreases which help us to produce the high pressure steam at lower cost this is the reason steam is produced in industry at a minimum 7 bar for economical purpose see this dome shape if you see this phase diagram dome shape if you see the distance between here to here is uh, decreasing as the pressure is increasing and we are moving toward the critical points that means this is the reason that uh, the enthalpy of uh, evaporation or latent heat is decreasing as the pressure is increasing this is our steam table extracted from the steam table so this you can see here the pressure is increasing so saturation temperature is increasing and therefore the sensible heat of water or the enthalpy of saturation of water will also increase because at higher pressure the water can absorb more heat to raise its temperature but at higher pressure you, um, the enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat is decreasing and the total enthalpy of dry saturated steam will also increase but a specific volume which is the inverse of the uh, density is reducing that means the space occupied by high pressure steam is is less than the space occupied by the low pressure steam this is the meaning of a specific volume of dry saturated steam which is decreasing at uh, increasing the pressure so this is petrol horizon offering for petroleum and chemical engineering students so we provide one month duration value added training courses which is 60 hours rigorous training and training fees is uh, 7000 and the second course is 6 month engineering design skill development training and placement assistance 
Our target is to provide a 100% placement to each and every students. So, uh, the, uh, it's 300 hour training and certification program and training fees is 50,000. We also provide assistance for a uh, for third year and final year chemical petroleum and mechanical engineering student to complete their project work in design field. The project time and cost depend on the choice of a student which project he choose but the cost is very nominal it's not very high. We are providing three day demo training classes and awareness classes at the Radun training center for knowing our quality of training program. After that a student can decide whether our course is worth to join or not. So registration are open since 5th May 2017. The students can contact at our mentioned email IDs and the phone numbers. So this is all about uh, this video. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated with new videos. It will encourage us to upload more videos for your knowledge and design concept. If you have any uh, doubt please write us write to us we'll try to resolve your doubt and if you want to know some uh, some about some new topic please request us we will try to upload the video regarding that concept so thanks a lot for watching our youtube channel video bye bye